campaign 2022 officially in its final days. Tonight we are just over three days left for politicians to secure your vote. And if you're getting calls or texts out of the blue from campaigns, you may wonder how they're getting your number. News Force Lauren Traeger finds your data is more exposed than ever before. And some say it's not only a nuisance, but also it's nefarious. You simply Googled me and that's all it took. On a recent day out of the blue, Tammy got a call from someone she hadn't spoken to in decades. How did you obtain my number? Just out of curiosity, oh, I just Googled you. And I said, yeah, right. So she looked herself up. And sure enough, just there's site after site after site. Shocked at how easy it was to find a lot about her. There was my current address. There was my mother's address, my former mother-in-law's address, my email address, my phone number, my age. A victim of stalking, she says, in the past. She was just so uneasy about being exposed. It makes me very sick. I'm, I think I'm too afraid right now to be angry. And trying to remove the listing, she says, felt impossible. When I click this link, it asks for $8.99, $12.99. I mean, I'll, there's over 300 sites. If I just type in Lauren Traeger. It's not ever hard to find me online, but I too was surprised to recently discover just how much information is now aggregated about me online. And has my home address out there plain as day. It's no surprise that websites and other companies have reams of personal information on you that they've legally been able to buy and sell and acquire. Scott Graneman, adjunct professor at Webster University, says there's a simple answer to the question, how did they get my info? Well, at some point, at some time, you gave it to them. Anytime you interact with certain apps, certain websites, they are gathering your information and then reselling it to marketers without your knowledge. And while in Europe, he says, laws have been passed to protect your information from data brokers. In America, we have no such laws. So if a company gathers your personal information, it's theirs, it's not yours. So you cannot ask for it to be removed unless it's false. And what's worse, he says, there's not much you can do about it. It is a waste of time to try to think that you could scrub all the data off the internet if you're an American. So it's almost doubled since the pandemic began. Rob Chevelle runs a company called Delete Me, a subscription service that offers to help you scrub some of your data on the internet. Though he says if anyone says they very, can very get it all. Don't believe them because that's uh, unethical and disingenuous. So I signed up for the service, and sure enough, I've watched as I disappear off some of the sites. Though Chevelle says since more data is added nearly every day. We have to run the, cons the service continuously for it to be effective. Here's my current address, my mom's. <laughs> this is going to make me cry, I'm sorry. Tammy says it all feels very violating. All that's there. Saying it's time for laws to make her personal information hers once again. There's something has to be done. Several bills have been proposed in Congress, but so far there's still no single all-encompassing law to protect Americans' private information. There are a few things you can try to do. You can use fake emails, for example, and you can really read that fine print on the privacy restrictions on certain apps. But sadly, experts say unless you just live completely off the grid, never use a phone or a credit card, your data is out there. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates.